We've taken a couple of shots now, and it's time to review them. So, we're in the operator main at the moment, and to review the shots that we just taken, we want to go to the review tab. And right here, you'll see here's the three shots that I took earlier. And to review these, I just have to double click. And you'll see that we get the properties of these shots. Uh, we get the name, the version, how many frames, and the duration. So all I have to do is press the play button, and then we can review that shot. I can double click on number two, hit play, review that shot. Hit number four here, and this is where we're going, following up the top to his head. And this is pretty much how you review your shots. At any time, you can take as many shots as you want. If you ever want to delete one, just right click on it, delete. And that's pretty much how you can review your shots. When we come back, We'll talk about uh, camera smoothing. Before we get shooting and making some camera moves, we want to do one more thing. This guy has some animation on him, and we want to connect that in so when we take our shots, everything will work. So if we come down here to the master sequence, you see at the moment we're set to none. So I'm going to choose this master sequence right here, and you see that he is now in a walking position. You'll also notice that now we have a playback menu down here. So if I want to scrub through, you can see our guy walking. If I want to hit play, now he's walking, and now I am panning with him. Right, so I can start to make camera moves and follow him around. All right, so let's go back to the beginning, and I will set myself back with my snapshot. And this is how we would connect the master sequence and start recording. Let's review one of these shots that we've taken, and I'm going to hit rewind and play. And you're going to notice that my camera is very shaky. It has a over handheld feel to it and my rotation you can see kind of like especially right here kind of just zips around right there now I'm not worried about how much my hand shakes too much while I'm actually getting my shots because we have this option of smoothing here that we can apply to the camera after we actually took our camera shots so with this big rotational value here you know this this is a weird little move right here maybe I want to smooth that out so I can come down to my rotational value and maybe put a number of say let's start with three we we'll rewind and we'll play that back and you'll see that my rotation is nice and smooth now right so that looks much better and I'm still getting a little bit of that shakiness in the camera. But maybe I want to turn this down just a little bit. Let's take it to a value of 2. And let's take our location, which would be our handheld part, to, say, a value of 1. And now I can take a little bit of that shakiness out. My rotation isn't overly smooth. And this is a much better shot. If we, for some reason, uh, changed our focal length of the camera going from a 30 millimeter to a 50, and we didn't like the transition of the zoom, then we would come into our focal length and smooth that option out. For focal distance, say we set up a custom button on our controller, and I want it to focus from this character to, say, maybe this box. But the, the focus transition is not that smooth. Then I would come down into the focal distance here and smooth this out with maybe a value of 1 or 2. And then if we were messing with our f-stop to open up our lens a little bit better, 
then this is where we would smooth out that option as well. Okay, let's talk a little bit about creating snapshots. Now there's two areas that we can add snapshots. We can do it right here from our operator main, create snapshots, or we can go up to the Dragonfly menu, and there is a snapshot here, which would be nice to have on a second monitor, and then you would be able to jump around the scene the way you want it. But we're gonna start right here. What a snapshot is, is placing me in a point in 3D space that I would like to jump to. So say that this is my uh, starting shot. So I can come over here and say create snapshot and then I can name this, we'll call this start position POS and now I have my snapshot. Right, so if I move anywhere in location and I want to return to this spot, all I have to do is click on go to. You'll also notice within the snapshot, it will tell us what sequence we're connected to, if there was any animation in the scene, which we don't have connected yet. It also tells us our sensor, which is 16.9, which would be our resolution or aspect ratio right here. It tells us what lens we're using, which is this 12 millimeter prime. Uh, we don't have anything platformed yet. We'll get into that a little bit later. And we don't have the focus set, so we'll get into that later as well. Now say I wanted to scout this location and create multiple snapshots. I can do this. So I can be out here and I can create a new snapshot and we'll call this shot two. You'll also notice that this creates a thumbnail of where we were in that position. So if I ever, you know, move out of range and I say I want to go to, I can go to. If I want to go to my starting point, I can go to start position, right? So this is really useful, you know, because you can end up somewhere in 3D space and you always want to get back to this area where you found the perfect shot. Now let's go to say number two right here and say I want to reposition myself. Maybe I want to be further back and now, you know, instead of creating a third snapshot, I just want to update this one. So right now I can update by right clicking on this and say update. You'll notice that our thumbnail has been updated to our current position and we are in a new spot, so I can go to position one, go to position two. Now, if I ever want to experiment and maybe say, try a different lens, I can come over here and pick a 30 millimeter. And I can see if I like that, and then maybe if I don't like that, and I just want to restore this to these original uh, values, then all I have to do is click restore. And you'll notice that everything down here restored as well. I'm no longer using that 30 millimeter lens. If I ever want to delete a snapshot, all I have to do is right click on it and delete. If I ever want to say move around a little bit and update a position, now I can right click and say update. So this is basically how we use snapshots. You would just want to go around the scene, scout out some positions where you feel would make a really interesting shot, create a snapshot, and then you can always return to those positions. Now that we've created some shots, it's time to export those out. So to do this, I'm going to select what shot I want. We'll hit play, make sure it's working. It does. Rewind. So we're going to export shot two with a smoothing of two. And I'm going to leave this at a default path. I'm um, not worried about the prompt. And I'm going to export this as a level sequence. Now, 
I'm exporting as a level sequence because I want to use this inside of Unreal. But if I wanted to export this out as, say, uh, FBX or an FBSX Axi, uh, we can export these out and then take this camera move into an external 3D package uh, such as Maya. Right? But we're, for this demonstration, we're only going to do level sequence. It has a start frame of 1, an end frame of 300, and then I'm going to click Export. Okay, that finished up, and you'll see we have a new folder here called Dragonfly Level Sequences. So if I click on that, you'll see here is our level sequence, and I'll double click, and here's our sequence. Let's change our camera up here. I'm going to click on the Home button. I'm going to go to Perspective and Cinematic Viewport. And I have to click on this camera right here to enable that. And we'll click back and play. And we've exported that camera move. And now it is its own level sequence.